You're watching WFMZ TV 69 News Live at 10 with Rob Vaughn, Troy Hine with sports, and meteorologist Ed Hanna with the exclusive AccuWeather forecast. Hope kept him alive. Now a man from South Sudan who narrowly escaped death numerous times is on a mission to raise awareness about his country. Tonight he spoke at Cedar Crest College. WFMZ's Jocelyn Mose has the story. When something happened to you and you survive, I think that is a reason behind it. Gabriel Boldang's reason is to raise awareness about what's happening today in his native Sudan. As I'm speaking, people of Darfur are being uh, bombed or being killed by, by the same government that did the same thing in southern Sudan. At Cedar Crest College, Dang relived his years in southern Sudan. When he was just 10 years old, North Sudan Arab militiamen led a violent attack on his village. Had I revealed myself to them, I would have been uh, charged or killed. He fled, not knowing what happened to his parents or siblings. Dang crossed the Nile River and Sahara Desert. Four months and 3,000 miles later, he reached Ethiopia, surviving hunger and disease. This suffering made me who I am. It is part of who I am, and I cannot complain about it. Four years later, Dang fled from violence yet again, leaving Ethiopia and traveling to Kenya. In 2001, he was offered a chance to join a refugee resettlement program in the United States. He and thousands of other Sudanese orphans are known as the Lost Boys of Sudan. The ultimate goal to overcome anything is to have hope and be able to persevere. Dang persevered and is now touring the United States telling his story of survival. He's currently raising money to build a primary school in his native village. Education is power and, and therefore I felt obligated that everyone needs an education to be a productive citizen of the world. In Allentown, Jocelyn Mose, 69 News.